Hi friends, good evening. Today it is 7 10, 2024. The time is roughly around 8 o'clock. What a fall today. Today was the real fall. Uh, even if you take from the last 4-5 uh, days and especially the solar eclipse created a major major issue and the market is uh, you know giving up all the gains whatever it gained in the last one one and a half months was getting washed out in the last six days time and that is why we always say that sellers make more money not the option sellers <laughs> whenever you go short market will give you more money than the buyers so that that's the logic behind the nature so you need to incorporate or you know correlate between nature and the market right and uh, uh, today, uh, okay, anyway, our new system was the real, real rocker of the day today with a very small stop loss. Phenomenal, phenomenal time price squaring system is working like mad for us. And uh, uh, second thing is, uh, all the indices are at the very, very, you know, closest of the closest to support level. So any break below this level, which is today's low, will be definitely a problem for the market. You need to have a stop loss in place. Those who are in long and especially in F and O, you need to be worried because your stop loss would have, in case if you followed even SMA, EMA, RSA, MACD, anything, your stop loss would have gone, you know, long back. But your hope is, you know, telling you to hold it and you will be in major, major mess. Whatever money you made in the last six months will be wiped out in a day. So without stop loss, you know, it is very difficult to, you know, sustain this market. Take the hit first, take the hit first, cut the loss first, then we will think. Otherwise, you know, since if you hold a position, open something, then you cannot take any fresh position. That is the problem. See, four days before I took a gale roughly around 76,000 shares and it hit my stop loss two days before. We need to take it no other go. We need to take it no other go. Let it again come back to 233, we will take a call. And from there, when we exited 233, today it came down to 222. That was the number for the month. So 10 rupees down, in case if I held that, another 7 and a half you know, lakh rupees will be a loss. So ruthlessly you need to cut. This market, it is not for praying or hope. Okay. So now today's low is very, very crucial. And the timing candle which we gave uh, for Bank Nifty, uh, till now it has given roughly around 1200 points in that 5 minutes time frame. Let's go and see all that. <clears throat> Okay, now this is the time price squaring which we took the entry in uh, crude now and uh, this is the time price square entry. Uh, you need to go short and this is based on one minute time frame and uh, this is the buy entry. Time price square happened at 7.30 to 7.35, sorry 7.30 to 7.31, 7.30 to 7.31 and I have already given the entry uh, to my members so we are in the long now. Let's see how it is going to do but this system will capture the top this system will capture the bottom okay so now let's see our stop loss is very small below this candle simply you need to mark this high and low of this candle and you need to take the trade below this candle any close you need to exit and you can go short okay the candle is the stop loss nothing more than that okay so now let's go and see the bank nifty five minutes candle how you should have traded this candle so first of all uh, this is the candle 950 to 955 is the combo timing so after that candle came a candle closed above this and your stop loss is this low the stop loss got triggered then again you need to go short your stop loss is the recent i and it got rejected and from 51414 or 415 it came down up to 50181 50, roughly around 1200 1300 points in the down See, again it went back and rejected here only. That is the beauty of the timing candle. And from there again, it came down and closed to more or less at the day's low. So this is the magic of the timing candle. For the technical people, this is the resistance and maybe this is the support, this is the support. No, market don't respect all this. Market respect that particular timing candle, particular timing candle. And this is what I teach my people and how to get this timing is what my specialty is all about. So now uh, from there as of now from 51,414 it closed at 50,480. So 1000 points on the closing basis. Let's, let's see we don't know what's going to happen next. But unless and until it is not going to cross above this it will act as a resistance. 
it will act as a resistance okay so now let's go to major uh, daily first of all we already told that you know uh, the pitchfork resistance you can go and watch my youtube video so we clearly said once it got rejected at this green color two line it will come back to this green color two line so now it is at a crucial crucial support first nifty now let's go to bank nifty it has closed below it got rejected at the pitchfork uh, top line angle but now it closed below the median line so this is looking little dangerous to me when it comes to bank nifty so if it not going to close above this candle it will again come back to this candle and this is what we talked about in our weekly forecast webinar so kindly go and watch that you know i have uploaded roughly around uh, i think one one and a half hour video uh, so you can go and watch so now the next uh, stopping point is this then when it comes to uh, fin nifty so this was the exact top on the pitchfork on a daily as well as weekly so now it broke below so now below this the possible target is 22,011 this blue color line this is the topmost area which it got rejected based on the pitchfork level see for example based on this it came and took the support level exactly at the median line and went back came down and uh, this is the topmost area this is the topmost area where it made the top out in fin nifty and from there it is falling so now if you open ichimoku this is what really interesting to me so now this is uh, let's go to daily so we told in very in our weekly forecast uh, webinar that this area is going to be the crucial 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 area for fin nifty so exactly see how market respect the pin point area and it closed exactly there that is the beauty of ichimoku and that is why we always say this is the god's own indicator or god's own system i will not call this a indicator and uh, this is a god's own system because it, it has time and price squaring so now uh, this is the exact low and uh, now it closed above it should not close to below this in case if it sustains we clearly told in the weekly forecast webinar that if it sustains this area the turning point will be like this it will not go like this and all not possible it will go like this those who are in call writers and all you need to be very cautious when it turns from here if it turns from year 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 and all no problem it will be you know like normal but if it turns from year it will be like boom and it will be ferocious and maybe the ferociousness will come on this day 9th of october which is actually the biggest time cycle for bank nifty okay so now watch this and when it goes to uh, nifty on ichimoku exactly it closed uh, maybe i'll go here so that you will easily see that so now exactly it came and touched this cloud this is what we talked about so now it is here in case if it takes the support no break this it will try to come down and take the support here and this may even come down to here or even here and take the support so now even uh, nifty is at the Uh, crucial support bank nifty we already talked about but when it comes to fortune signals uh when it comes to fortune signals i think uh, crude oil is rocking very good uh okay now when it comes to fortune signals just a minute okay so now let's talk about this so this is on a 15 minutes uh, uh see you know uh, fin nifty so it gave a sell around 24000 uh 800 900 level and uh, already 1500 points gone uh in fin nifty in 15 minutes time frame and when it comes to bank nifty uh, it gave a sell around uh, 54000 and as of now uh, 2800 points gone in fin nifty without a buy uh maybe if you want i can close this so that you can see better and uh, if you go to nifty uh it gave a sell around uh, year around 26000 uh around 26000 and now exactly we are at the support level uh, and we closed at 24819 roughly around 1200 points without any buy 
and this buy is a fake buy where it was a clear clear trap clear clear trap okay so now uh, uh, okay so now let's go to what i want to communicate yeah let's go to fortune signals now watch this very carefully so now it gave a sell now it gave a sell if it holds this candle low the bottom is done if it holds this candle low and more or less price time square when it comes to pitchfork also because this is the fork so this is the uh, main fork so more or less price time square based on the pitchfork also because it got rejected at the top coming back and touching this uh, thing is more or less you know uh, it is price time square so if it holds this low bottom done now let's go to bank nifty so at least in nifty you got only sell at least at least in nifty you got only sell but when it comes to bank nifty you got a genuine sell also so you got a genuine sell also here so maybe if i close this you will understand little bit mm, yeah so now this is a genuine sell again if this candle is held bottom done for the bank nifty what happened so now if you go back and if you go back and check uh, bank nifty uh, bank nifty gave a g sell here on 26th of october and that candle low was held and from there you have seen a miracle of roughly around 10000 points rally so now we are at the same situation we are at the same situation now here and it gave a g sell in bank nifty so if it holds this candle low again bottom done so now let's go to fin nifty so fin nifty again it gave a g sell if it holds this candle low bottom done and when it comes to uh, mid cap we clearly said that you know uh, two numbers are very very crucial and exactly market came to that number and touched and closed here so when it comes to mid cap there is no problem but the major uh, indices are getting uh, literally literally chopped uh, in the last 2 uh, 3 days so mid cap is the one which is as of now looking better uh, when compared to nifty or you know bank nifty or even fin nifty maybe we will go and check uh, small cap yeah even small cap is not a problem uh, it is holding the uh, blue and red and last time it came and took took the support here and from there it went now it is here so when when it when you compare uh, nifty bank nifty fin nifty mid cap is looking little better uh, but you cannot buy even though it is at the support you should not buy when you can buy once you get a buy in a 15 minutes time frame then only you can initiate the positional long otherwise there is no question of positional long in the market maybe whenever again it goes and touches this uh, blue and red you can go short again you should not go long unless and until you get a genuine buy for example if you take this is the genuine buy it came here that was the exact top none of the candle closed above that was the exact top uh, in 15 minutes and from there the fall was massive so now again whenever it gives a genuine buy on a 15 minutes time frame you can enter otherwise there is no question of bottom fishing here intraday you do whatever you want to do be with the trend capture the momentum do whatever you want to do but when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, you know positional you need minimum 15 minutes genuine buy to initiate the long trade otherwise this two number which we are talking about here must come to blue otherwise no question of going long in this market okay so now let's go and talk about the targets so as of now we already said that uh, below uh, uh, what is that number 
yeah we said this will be the target for the week and uh, now we are somewhere here so this is the end card but if you go to bank nifty this is what worrying me a lot so we clearly said this is the crucial crucial three number which will dictate the market which will dictate the market so now if you take this high and low the highest number is 5880 and the lowest number is 541841 market was literally dancing within this 40 points for a very long time got rejected again came down again went up close to below but this is the crucial crucial it has to close above this number convincingly broke below that it achieved this target this target so now the last and final target if this happens tomorrow and if it holds this number tomorrow then the first target is this one for the week and the next target is this one for the week touch wood it has to come and touch this number then only it has to reverse otherwise this point which i am talking about is invalid it has to come back and touch the last target of this one which is 49891 once it hits this the first target within this week will be 51211 once it cross this 51211 on or before friday it will go and try to do this 52178 because many times it happened and we are on tuesday and we have another three more days to go so i am praying that market should come tomorrow and touch this number and from 9th it has to take a u turn to achieve at least this target before friday let's see uh, this is our prayer i don't know whether the market is going to do all that so as of now on the short side uh, we have achieved till up to this and in the nifty uh we achieved i think roughly around uh, what was the low today uh, exact low of nifty today is roughly around uh, 24 699 so more or less we are somewhere here this is the crucial area of support see whenever i write within the two it means this is the support area so it says 24 696 to 24 630 okay yeah and uh, that's all timing is i have already given and uh, uh, all the indices are the close uh, you know support area so watch that and uh, today i have already given the uh, weekly forecast number so what it says below this number it will first go and achieve this target so if you take the excel sheet uh, if you take the excel sheet and if you calculate 24919 minus 342 will be the first target and below 21 223 minus 657 that will be the first target i think more or less is achieved so you need to go and check all that so i have already given the numbers so use it wisely okay and uh, that's all nothing more to add in this video again saying i'm not a cpi registered investment advisor so kindly do your homework uh, you know very soon we are going to stop that you know we are not a cpi registered investment advisor the exam is already done and we got the result also and we passed that exam so very soon uh, we are coming out with the license and uh, uh, that's all if anything uh, interesting i will post you in the telegram group until then good night